When I think about what I've learned in the period of time encompassing this course, I am somewhat astonished. As I've repeated ad nauseum, when I returned to school in the fall, I had never been online or sent an email. My fall semester was a crash course in learning Word and how to do research online, which I survived. It wasn't easy, but words and reading were my thing, so I got by. Then along comes digital storytelling. I figured, storytelling, I like that. How hard can it be? But digital, digital meant pictures, and videos, and narration, and music. If I had known beforehand what I'd be expected to know how to do by the end of the course, I might have gone running back to my freshman major of astrophysics. But of course, in the 40 plus years since then, well, that's gone digital too, so there's no escape. Anyhow, I stuck it out, and lo and behold, I learned how to upload photos and how to join them with text. I learned, sort of, how to do a video with an iPhone. I learned how to post videos to YouTube and what a link was and how to use that. I have a blog on WordPress.com, which fulfills a promise made to family members years ago about sharing our history. It wasn't easy. There were times when I just couldn't figure out why this wouldn't work, but eventually I got the hang of the basics. I know what special effects are and roughly how to implement them, but I've shied away from them because I wanted to get things done. I have no illusion about my future as a blogger or a vlogger, but I have a great appreciation for those who choose to pursue such a career. In short, I am not one of the more accomplished students in this course, but I have greatly appreciated the chance to learn how to do some new things, and I thank you.